Which is stronger, the land or the sea? The sea, of course, has so many muscles. <laughs> this classic dad joke was featured in an article in the Marlboro Express in 1895. The paper commonly included jokes, anecdotes, and news about muscles. And for good reason. Muscles are the kidneys of the ocean, filtering seawater to remove sediment. But they're also the ocean's liver, transforming the chemicals in that seawater into more beneficial forms. And even the ocean's gut, as they form a home for countless other organisms and their complex structures. However, a nearly 50% decline in muscle reefs across our globe has left our oceans with multiple organ failure. Even the Marlboro Sounds, once home to enough muscles to warrant front page jokes, has not been spared from this devastation. My thesis aims to chronicle the decline of muscle reefs in this beautiful region and tackle methods for recovery. My first step was determining exactly how local wild mussel reefs have changed over the last hundred years. The results are staggering. Shoreline surveys and interviews with residents revealed a 97% decline in local wild mussel reefs. These reefs were devastated by over-harvesting from a fishery in the 1970s. By the mid-1980s, the mussel reefs had all but disappeared and the fishery was shut down. In my surveys, 40 years later, mussel reefs still had not recovered. This led to the core of my thesis. Why didn't mussel reefs come back after the fishery closed? And how can we bring them back? It's a tough question, but I can tell you what we know so far. I transplanted mussels from a local mussel farm to the seabed and monitored them for a year. Survival was high, showing that mussels can survive in the current Marlboro Sounds, at least as adults. Well, if the problem isn't with adult mussels, then let's look earlier in their life cycle. When baby mussels or larvae spawn, they first settle onto seaweeds for protection before moving once more. Here's where things get tricky. I monitored larval settlement onto a variety of seaweeds in the sounds. What I found was that almost no mussels settled onto any of the seaweeds, meaning they never got a chance to grow bigger, never migrated to a reef, and never fully recovered. The exact cause behind this disconnect isn't quite clear to us and we're still studying ways to better identify and overcome this barrier. In the meantime, this research has demonstrated the importance of thinking broadly about conservation and restoration, approaching ecosystem degradation from a perspective informed by an area's history and an organism's life cycle allows us to hone in on the core problems facing an environment, jumpstart natural recovery, and eventually celebrate, or celebrate a restored <laughs> ecosystem. Thank you.